What's up, people? I'm starting off on the ACBL Education Foundation page because it is on and live till July 5th. Bit early, bit often on yours truly and a bunch of other professional bridge players and teachers. Some of the best in the world, in fact, all the best in the world in here offering their services for a great cause. The ACBL Education Foundation auction up and running till July 5th at 9 p.m. So if you're seeing this before July 5th, 9 p.m. 2023, get on over to the link you see in the description of this video and bid on your pros. Now let's jump into day three of our challenge with these robots. And here we are, an interesting 14 count that if we were behind, we would probably consider opening an O-Trump with this just to be weird. But because we're ahead and we're normal human beings, we're just going to open a diamond. We're going to see our partner bid a no trump, and we're going to be super happy to play it there. That is non-forcing, folks. And that includes no four-card majors in their hands. So we actually have very nice holdings in both of those suits. Uh, even though our hard holding isn't ideal, it's just some length and the 10. So we're okay playing in this. And this is frequently what we see from partner. Some sort of hand that has a reasonable amount of clubs usually bids a no trump, uh, especially if it can't do anything else. So don't lead a heart through, robot. Come on now. The queen also. That's so weird. The jack is sitting in that hand over there. Let's uh, let's play low. Uh, this... The robots cheat. Stop it, Mr. Robot. Don't be don't be five three. What? They didn't lead away from their fifth their five card suit, and they're still getting it right. Come on, more robot. Give me a break, mister. All right. Not, oh, okay, good. They hooked us up with... Uh, well, they didn't hook us up with anything. We have all the rest of the tricks. It doesn't matter. Okay. Congratulations, Mr. Robot. The good thing is, you know, they, they ripped off six tricks right there. Congrats. Five of hearts would have been a pretty darn good lead too, Mr. Robot, don't you think? I think I could find that lead and still do well without having to find a club lead through to partner. Come on. Come on, Mr. Robot. But anyway... Uh, Everyone else had to deal with the same exact thing. We This is the benefit of not doing anything weird, right? We get to be normal, and we get to scoop up 60% by being normal, by opening a diamond. Someone got to play three diamonds because they rebid their diamonds. Okay. I think the people that rebid their diamonds, which there might have been a few of you out there, I just want to reference, when you see this club suit here, don't worry about that on this auction. One diamond pass, one no trump. Partner doesn't have a four-card major, and they didn't raise diamonds. They always have clubs, right? They always have clubs on this auction because they denied length in any of those major suits, and they didn't do anything else weird on this hand other than bid one no trump, right? So sometimes their hand might actually have a whole bunch of clubs, right, without an actual bid to make that's going to be descriptive for that particular shape. So uh, I think we climbed up a little bit or whatever. We're... We're doing well. We're doing well. 60.7 on that last one. This one is a total one no Trump opener. No matter where you find yourself, we are going to see Stamen. We're denying a four card major. Partner pops us into three no. Let's dance. All right. Nice hand by partner over there. They certainly would have preferred to play in a major, but the good stuff is they didn't really get off to probably their best lead, although hearts could be a really good choice here. Um, their better choice, as you could probably see, is clubs, right? That's the suit that they could open up quite well for themselves. Um, interesting 10 of hearts, right? The nine now is here. The seven over there and dummy is an interesting card now that could develop a trick for us. But this we could rename the battle of the seven card suits. Um, first off, let's just count our winners. Let's be, let's be a little basic over here. We've taken one already. We're going to take three diamonds. We're also going to take one club and three spades, right? So that's eight rippers right off the bat. Where are our extra tricks going to come from? Well, diamonds and spades could each provide one extra trick simply by dividing evenly, three and three, right? If they divide evenly, three and three, we are going to take an extra trick in both of those suits. If one of them divides evenly, we'll take an extra trick there, and so on and so forth. We don't have to do any work to set these up other than simply playing our top three cards, right? If they're three, three, our top three cards will take care of them, and we won't have to worry about losing a card and then recouping a winner later. So the reason I'm saying that is because I don't need to play either of those suits right away. Right? I can now play hearts like this. 
and play over to the king. And now I know the eight of hearts is the only relevant card that can that can hurt me, right? And I also know uh, if when I count my winners, I only came up with eight and maybe 10 on top of that. So here I can actually duck this as well just to get right close enough to the edge, right? So now we're at 10. If everything goes well, we're gonna take these and we may have a little bit of a squeeze position later on. So first things first, let's start one of these seven card suits. Here comes diamonds. All we're looking for folks is that they divide three, three. So here's what we wanna see. The third trick, we wanna see both of them following. Guess what they just did folks? They both followed, so bingo, now we have that. Now we're gonna play the four of diamonds. We're gonna throw away a heart and we love, wow, look at that folks. They both pitched spades, which means we're gonna be able to run this spade suit for sure. And now we'll play the ace of spades. Here we could even win this in our hand if they pitched a club, uh, they didn't. Uh, so here we're just gonna run our spades. We're gonna take 10. Could we have taken 11? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe if we don't duck one of those and we play this out, maybe they throw some weird cards and we get a chance, but, we did take down 60.7%, which feels like we tied with a whole bunch of people near the top. And there it is. Tied for top for making 10. Any less, get a bad board, folks. Sometimes you got to win it in the play. And here, we didn't necessarily win it in the play. We tied it in the play, right? So worthy of 60 points, 60.7%. Uh, we're just plodding along here. We have one really spectacular result. The rest, we're just kind of hanging in, which is what we want, right? Every tournament. We want to just be in there mixing it up with most of the field on each of these boards. Is that 19 again? Uh, that is. And uh, guys, you saw me open one 19 count two no Trump when we got 100%. You think I'm not going to do it with this one? You're crazy, right? This is amazing. I have the same sort of hand we talked about earlier. I have a 19 count, but I have ace king jack fifth of a side suit. I love two no Trump with this. It's worthy of a 20 count, right? The the value of this hand is enough for the bid I've made. And that's the whole thing behind it. I'm not being aggressive or crazy, some of you might say. I'm just bidding the values I think my hand has. And here we go. We get to play, ooh, we get to play four hearts. We get to talk about another seven card suit situation. Look at that spade suit, folks. The spade suit is beautiful because it has seven cards in it. What do we look for when there's seven card suits? We look for a three, three fit. Now the spade lead, I mean, the spade leads a situation where it looks like it might not be breaking evenly. It looks like it might be a high low play here. Um, so we may have to lose more than that, but we have another option, right? Take a look at that diamond suit, right? The diamond suit could also provide some extra tricks. In fact, that's the one that's probably likely to get set up first. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to set up our hand, the south hand. And we're gonna do that by roughing early, right? Ace of diamonds. Hello, hello. Okay, what are we doing over there, Mr. East? Don't rough it. <laughs> low diamond. I'm honestly, I'm gonna rough, I'll rough low. If it gets over roughed, I'm shocked, right? I'm going to draw around to Trump, folks. Eight of hearts to the ace. And now I'm going to play another diamond. I'm going to rough it. And now I've made all my diamonds good, and now I can draw another round of Trump. And notice, folks, I would have drawn Trump this exact same way if given the opportunity beforehand. I would have drawn two rounds of Trump, and I would have left one out there. I get to do the same thing except I got to rough some diamonds first. I didn't need the queen to fall that short. It did, great, right? But it doesn't have to, right? So now I have my choice. I'm gonna play a club to the king and set up another trick for our side. And now they, whatever they wanna do, right? I can play queen of clubs. I can play a low club and rough it over here or a spade. And now I can play my winning diamonds. They can rough anytime they want. There they did. And now I have the rest of the tricks, folks. Rough a doodle do and a good jack of diamonds. Uh, that should be okay for us. Yeah, 80, 85.7, a little better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I suppose if you tried to set up spades, you would have been really disappointed. And diamonds was just a better choice because of the way we could go back and forth between the hands as you saw. And notice as I'm trumping diamonds, uh, I'm also drawing some trump in the mix, right? So let me show you what I mean. We win in our hand, we play a diamond, and we rough a diamond, right? How do we get back to our hand? Well, we can use trump. Right now we're getting the best of both worlds. We're drawing around a rounder Trump in here, and then we're roughing a diamond and dummy, and then we're drawing that second round of Trump, which was our strategy to begin with. We didn't have the 10 of hearts, so we can't be taking a double finesse. We have to play ace of hearts and give up two heart tricks. We got to do that, but what did we do first? We trumped in 
what ended up being the shorthand. Usually we look for the shorthand in Trump's and some shortness in a side suit, right? Here we're 4-4. Four, four. So the moral of this story is when you trump in one of the hands, you try to trump more than once in that hand, right? And now you've got two extra tricks, and that's what we did with that north hand. Beautiful. All right, that's it for day three. One more day to go. We're, I think we're almost wired wiring this one. I don't know if we were first after board one, but we, I think we've been first after every day. Hope I'm not going to jinx it after tomorrow, but we're at 68.2%, and uh, we're grinding out a, a, a pretty reasonable tournament. Let's hope we can hold it together, folks. Join me for the last day, and don't forget, once again, folks, Get your bids in. It's the ACBL Educational Foundation. Links are in the description. There are all your favorite players, M hundreds and hundreds of them. There are 297 items up for bid. Get your bid in on one or more of those early, often, and really donate to a terrific cause, the future of Bridge. Thanks a lot, folks. I'll see you for the finale tomorrow.